and uh, I first started reading Martin's poetry probably about um, maybe the best part of 20 years ago. Uh, and I remember picking up uh, a pamphlet uh, by this poet called Martin Stanard, which called, which pamphlet, the pamphlet was called Easter, uh, and just being completely kind of, uh, like I'd never quite read anything like it at the time. Uh, and that's probably because um, not many people uh, write like Martin, at least in, in the UK. So uh, I'm sure you'd agree, his, his heritage is um, largely um, American, particularly in New York school. And uh, the way that he's picked up that tradition and worked with it, I think is quite, um, well I would say kind of unique in, in British poetry. Um, so that's, uh, I won't say any more, he'll read for himself in a moment. I just want to read what uh, Ian Macmillan uh, said about this collection which is uh, on the back of, uh, of the book, uh, it says, Here is a major book by a major British poet who dances in the ballroom where the avant-garde re meets the mainstream and more importantly, makes us all want to dance there too. In Martin Stannard's hands, language is never tired or threadbare or past its sell-by date or begrudging or lightweight. Enjoy this book and live in Martin Stannard's amazing world. So, ladies and gentlemen, Martin Stannard. Thank you. And um, 